What's up friends, back at home, back from the Nashville Diecast show, and we're gonna go over the hall. Try not to judge here, I uh, went a little bit crazy, but it's been so dry in the Nashville area here recently with COVID going on. There's really been nothing out there as far as diecast goes. We don't have any diecast stores in town. So when the opportunity arises, uh, especially at some of the prices that I got these for, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on everything that I can find. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. I'm gonna start from uh, the highest price to lowest price. And the first car I picked up was this Redline's 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. And this thing is pretty sweet, metal on metal. Uh, I've seen these things go for pretty good money on eBay. I got this guy for 20 bucks. Beautiful car. $7 for this Barrett Jackson 1972 Chevrolet K10 4x4 pickup truck. Um, yeah, just fell in love with it when I saw it. Looks good. I typically don't buy a lot of the green light cars, uh, but when I see something that really catches my eye, I will definitely get it. Uh, see, $5 a piece on these Johnny Lightning boogie vans, and we know those things can have potential on the downhill. This is the uh, Ford Econoline van. This one, the Lexmark. Uh, this was also five bucks. Moving down in price a little bit, a uh, guy there selling a lot of Matchbox stuff. He had this in a tote underneath the tables, and these are all the super fast line from 05 and 06. These were three for 10. Got the 57 Corvette, Porsche Boxster. Of course, the Fode Fircus. That thing did pretty good at Mr. Mom's, so we'll have to give it a shot. BMW 1M, these best of cars are all rubber tire cars, so these things won't hit the track, but I do like how they look. The 65 Austin minivan, and this is, uh, I'm not sure which Corvette this is, but this one had a crush package. I got this one for a little less than $3, but this car looks really, really nice. It has the five spoke wheels. Pretty sure it's gonna have a plastic base. In fact, yeah, it does have a plastic base, but looks really nice. Stepping down in price a little bit, picked up this Hot Wheels Gold Hot Ones Porsche P911. This guy was three bucks. All the rest of these cars were three bucks. The uh, short card Shelby Cobra, looking good. The new exclusive colorway for the 98 Honda Prelude. And if you guys haven't seen this in person yet, it is really really nice that was three bucks and the Dixie Challenger from the cool classics metal on metal with the retro slot wheels yep three bucks okay stepping down in price again two dollars for the rest of these I'm not exactly sure a lot about this model maybe you guys can clue me in uh, it does have plastic wheels let's see it says Hasbro on the bottom of it such a clean looking car. Couldn't pass it up for two bucks. Johnny Lightning, this one actually rolls really good. I think this is like a 72 Camaro or something like that. Probably out of the spoilers. Two bucks. 92 Ford Mustang, the new Datsun 510, and the new Bone Shaker. This Bone Shaker looking really, really good. I haven't seen any of these guys at the stores yet. This is G Case looking fine of course the 71 dots and 510 looks really really good too in that mint green also a g-case car two bucks for those guys renault master pretty good weight on this casting it will see the track for sure that fendered 40 another trail buster got the 18 band two bucks this is a parking plates 32 Ford. Had the card cut off, but it was only two bucks, metal on metal. Couldn't pass it up. The new Diora 2 treasure hunt, regular treasure hunt. Two bucks. Figured what the heck. Saved me from having to search them down in the wild. Speed spray, funny car, 
the 79 Ford F-150 truck. This one with real riders. This is the Sam Walton version. It was two bucks. Metal body plastic base. This is the, uh, this is out of the classics line. The, uh, what does it say? 69 Dodge Charger. Looks really, really nice. $2.00 and a couple more F-150s. Some of these cars are going to be going into my 1000 subscriber giveaway that we'll be having hopefully not too long in the future, but uh, yeah, a lot of these cars you will see in my 1000 subscriber giveaway. All these cars right here were a buck a piece. Buck, 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 as far as Bubba, Mr. Moms would say. Um, this one has the faster than ever packaging. It does say Corvette C6, but that is definitely not a Corvette. So anyway, for a dollar, can't pass a faster than ever up. Escalade, funny car, got, uh, let's see, this is a metal-based uh, Crown Victoria from Matchbox with the lace wheels. These two castings right here, these are the ones with the solid metal roof, a uh, buck a piece. Cadillac 16 with the PR5 wheels. I picked up that uh, Solaire. That was a plastic based Solaire. These were all a buck. Mustang convertible, metal on metal. Uh, let's see here, what else? This is the Honda Civic SI. Only a buck. Mini Cooper. Love the Mini Coopers with the pop off bodies. Of course, they're metal on metal. This one, a buck. Another Escalade in black. Way too fast. Lotus Esprit with the five spokes. And this one right here was not easy for me to find in the wild for some reason. I think there were one of these per case. This is the 2018 Ford Mustang convertible. Got that guy for a buck. Uh, Ferrari 348. Got 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Of course, the card's a little worn, but that's okay. Only a buck. Uh, Land Rover Freelander, kind of a butt ugly car if you ask me, but metal body, metal base, it's got the flower wheels, got some pretty good weight to it. It will see some downhill duty for sure. Uh, 70 Chevelle SS Wagon, I love that casting. Um, 57 Chevy from Matchbox, another F-150, and yet another 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. Good looking casting, hard to pass up for a buck. The rest of these cars, two for a dollar, 50 cents a piece. So if I saw it, I liked it, I grabbed it. Uh, 82 Nissan Skyline R30, 71 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX from Matchbox. Really like the look of, of that car, not really wide. Uh, let's see, 70 Plymouth Cuda. Sorry about the glare here. We got a Ford GT40, 50 cents. 08 Lotus Evora, good detailing on that car, 50 cents. Mazda MX-5 Miata, yeah. Ford Panel Van, this one will likely see downhill duty. It's got pretty good weight to it. 2014 Porsche Cayman. Really nice detail on this car. 50 Sprint. Alfa Romeo 4C, another highly detailed model. Again, some of these not really fast cars just because they're metal on plastic, but I do love the way they look. So they came home with me. 85 Honda CRX from the Honda series. 70 Chevy Chevelle. Love this casting. Super wide, good looking car. Red Mazda Repu, Ford Shelby GT350R, Volkswagen Golf Mark II, 67 Pontiac Firebird 400 in red, Renault Sport RS01, didn't have this colorway yet. Uh, really dig that car right there, it does pretty good downhill. Audi Avis, yep, that one will see downhill duty for sure. Fair Lady 2000. Volkswagen Cafe Racer, another 70 Chevelle. Yeah, dig that casting. Don't think they're particularly fast, but that's okay. 
Nitro door slammer. I do like the nitro door slammers just because of their long wheelbase. That might be a mod car for the future. Uh, we got the Auburn 852. This one in the two-tone gold on bronze. Metal body, metal base. Probably go downhill just fine. Rescue Ranger. This is the uh, bomb squad version with three spokes. He will probably see some downhill duty. But yep, that's all the cars that I picked up from the show. All told, I've got $140 in all these cars. Not too bad. And I will go ahead and put these away for now and we'll get into the cars that I picked up in the stores. And the rest of these are going to be what I found from retail stores. Uh, not a really good showing, but not too bad. With the exception of these two, uh, I met Matthew from Ferris Finds Diecast. He's another channel on YouTube where he does a lot of peg hunting and stuff like that. So go over and check his channel out. He does some really nice stuff and has some great finds. But he was able to find these two for me. I have not been able to find them in the stores. And we did a little bit of horse trading for some similar models. So I've got the Nissan Skyline GTR Team Transport and also the 69 Nissan Skyline van from the Fast Wagon series. That one has been really difficult for me to find. It seems to be all the scalpers are grabbing that guy up like hotcakes. I uh, found the 17 Acura NSX out of the G case from one of the Walmarts. Uh, of course, I do like the Monster Jam trucks and if they look cool, like this guy, the Shaker. Got kind of an old Jeep Commando body on it. I think that uh, uh, wheelie bar in the back is removable, but I'm not sure. But yeah, dig that guy. These were at Target, I believe. Found full charge at that same Target. Love the body style on this thing. Kind of has like a, uh, I don't know, like a, yeah, it's a Corvette style body on a monster truck. So dig that one pretty good found this one at a uh, sorry Target. It's the Koenigsegg Azera R, the Gumball series. This one being one of the new Premier lines. Good looking car. Another Target had the Avenger with this new colorway. Red, white, and blue. I just want to stand back and salute this sucker. Looks nice. Uh, this one just has a Joker face on the front of it. Looks like kind of a bug. I don't know. Looks pretty neat. It's got some pretty good weight to it. We'll have to see how it does. Uh, Night Dragon picked this one up at the Kroger. Uh, Bo told me that these wheels roll pretty good, so we'll have to give them a shot. Found the Skull Shaker regular treasure hunt. This one will probably be going in one of my uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaways mystery machine from that same Kroger that will probably be going in the giveaway as well and so will this one the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser the Guster that one will probably also be going in a giveaway and the last Walmart I went to they had La Troca sitting in a death bin I had to free it from its miserable fate in the death bin and another Toyota Celica. Love, love, love this body style. I'll probably do a wheel swap on it because it deserves it. Anyway, that's all I got from the retail stores. Again, Matthew, it was nice to meet you. Thank you very much for the trade. Helping me out, man. And that's all I've got for this haul video. I'm glad you guys came with me on the hunt. Had a good time as usual. Y'all stay healthy. Have fun collecting.